Okay, so, in the last episode, I will admit I had, like, somewhat of a breakdown. <laughs> I, I'd hit my breaking point, I'd reached it, um, and I'm going to explain why. I did briefly think that, like, I was just done. I was like, nope, I can't do it, I'm, I was just too frustrated. Um, at the time, I was very, very hungry. I was very hungry and angry. I was at the point where, like, you know when you're hungry and you you feel like your body is just completely empty and you've just got no energy to do anything, and you're just running off of, like, pure sugar that you've got left in your system and that's it. That was basically the point that I was at. Oh, God. Um, and I still stand by some of the shit that I said. I do think that this is too difficult, but I'm going to keep going. Um, I do think that maybe if I don't manage to finish this season, like if I don't actually manage to finish the game, um, I think the next season might be Dread to give that a go and see how that is. So that I can say, okay, well I prefer this over that or whatever. Because I do like a challenge, but it's kind of like going straight into breakdown round six. It's not the nicest. So we've, we've come over here to recruit somebody. Uh, he's got people skills. Sorry, buddy, busy. Oh, hello. Can't leave him right, well, I'd like to recruit you because you've got a little army look about you, but I don't think I need a cook. So nice to what see about you. Cello? Cello does chemistry. Who do we need? Oh, God, look at all these. Uh, do we have a cook? We've got a computer, firearms maintenance. Oh, we have got cuisine, agriculture, and fishing. Oh, okay. Uh, so, Cello's actually the best one to get. Uh, Cello, where have you gone? Come back. We don't want you because we don't want people skills. I don't care about that. I don't know if that boosts morale, actually. People skills might actually be pretty decent. Where is Cello, though? I want computer skills. What computer skills? What have you got? Hello there. Chemistry. Hello I don't know there. what chemistry does. Can, does it tell me? No. Of course it doesn't. So we've got Cello, what is the other bloke called? I wouldn't mind boosting up morale. I'm sure I'm going to get fucking told off for picking the wrong person. <laughs> Who are you? Dave. Hey, We're getting Big Dave. Big oh, Teast. Big Dave you. Badista. With us Come with hey, me. Follow I'm going to enlist you. We got work to do. Have I got Get enough influence, board. please? I have. Oh, I have. Ah. Oh. Right, well, we're doing that briefly, so that we can, uh... Oh, piss off. Oh, we've got survivor activity just over there. We'll go over there and see what that survivor activity is, but the goal is to move to the lock and lock. So, I said very, very briefly, but it was, like, during a rant, basically, why I wanted to go to the lock and lock. I don't get why they're cold again. It keeps, like, one minute they're cold and one minute they're neutral. I'm not sure. Um... But the reason I want to go to the lock and lock is because there's no buildings here. There's this big fucking space. And I'm not being funny, but the chance of there being a play cart here is very, very fucking low. So I'm thinking if I take out this area, then I can control this fucking street and guarantee that nothing's going to spawn there. I know that I'm not going to get snuck up on by, like, some horrible pissing hordes. I mean, there's probably going to be a horde wandering around from somewhere. But I just feel like... Where we are at the moment, like, yeah, it's pretty good, but we know that this street is bloody full of play cards. Um, if possible, as well, could somebody please keep count of my play cards that I kill? I think I'm on three since moving to this map. I'm pretty certain I've killed three. Um, however, I'm also not pretty certain. Let's take that. We're going to take Dave back home. Good old big Dave, wherever he is. There he is. Good old Big Dave. It looks a bit like Nobby without his hat. Nobby without his hat. Oh, what a sight. Right, how do we get to Lock and Lock? Oh, we want to go over there first, don't we? Over the road. You, you in the Stop car. Me. Stop it. Get in. For fuck's sake. Start talking to him 24-7. Oh, there's no way of me avoiding that horde. I'm just going to have to bring him with me. But yeah, I feel like if I'm going to do legacies, maybe doing it on um, Dread and maybe like transferring them over into Nightmare or whatever, that might be a little bit better for me. 
I don't know. We're gonna have to just like see how it goes, basically. Ugh. Nope. You're not doing that, you little bitch. I got no time for this. What do you mean you've got no time for this? You've got plenty of fucking time for this. You've got enough time as I say. Yes. Enough time as I say. I'm in charge here. If I say hit things, you hit things. Maybe we can recruit this entire community and I can cry because I'll have loads of people to sacrifice. And I won't be depressed anymore. Uh, there's a play cart over in the brick bungalow that we want to clear out. If you help, we'll make it worth your while. Okay. Um, is there any chance... Adley's and Nick's followers. Right, if you follow me, I'd like to take you to lock and lock with me. Because the, the opportunity of taking... Right, that's not... Yeah, that's quite far anyway. So I'm going to drive round to lock and lock, move into it. Once we're in there and settled, we can then take these guys to go take out the play cart. I feel like that's a pretty decent strat. Because if we take four people to do with this play cart... It should be dealt with pretty goddamn quick. If it's not, then we've got no hope. Screamer over there. <coughs> oh my god. Sorry. I've got like a really tickly throat still, and I don't know why. I've had like this, not like a chest infection. I thought it was. Um, I can't really go into detail because I don't really know what it is. But I've just had like this bad cough for quite some time now. And... I don't really know what it is, and I can't get into the doctors until, like, the 10th of next month, which is, like, two and a half week away at this point. It's awful. So, yeah, if I end up coughing, I, I can't help it. I've been like it for the past month. Oh, God. I've got a fucking play cart there. I hate my life. It's awful. <laughs> Let's see what, uh, Travis... Well, it weren't Travis Warrior. He looked like Travis. I can't remember what his name was. Terence or Carpenter or something. We're getting all this stuff off of him. So that I'm not... Oh, God. That glitch needs to be sorted out because it is awful. Right. Put all this stuff in here. Plenty of weapons for us. Fantastic. Put those in there. Take those. We can trade it. Take that. We can use it. Everybody in. Everybody in. Maybe. Maybe, just maybe. I doubt it. Maybe they'll join us after we've taken out the play cart if they're still alive. I don't plan on keeping them alive. <laughs> I'll be honest, I plan on taking them to the play cart and just using them to take it out. Because the chances of them joining us are quite slim. The plus side is, though, it's basically a free play cart as long as, uh. Well, as long as we don't lose anybody. I think like going in that vicious cycle that I went in the, in the last episode sort of like messed with my head a little bit because we seem to be going in the cycle of find a play cart, gain a survivor, go to play cart, survivor dies, take out the play cart, gain a survivor, find a new play cart, go to play cart, survivor dies, take out the play cart. <laughs> And we just seem to be doing that and, like, not really making that much progress. Or we're making progress, but it's, like, at a big cost of losing a survivor every single time. My sister was Which is why I was you. trying to find some sort of ranged way to take it out. Um, somebody did comment saying that, like, I think Molotovs were the best. You can use, like, bloater bombs with firecrackers because it's flammable, which I completely fucking forgot. I didn't realise that it was flammable. Uh, I can't remember what else, but they basically said that it takes like so many to take out one play cart and like so many Molotovs and so many whatever, um, which I need to go back and look at the comment. I can't remember it was. Oh, thank God that's the one we already discovered. I'm hoping this enclave isn't hostile, for obvious fucking reasons. <laughs> oh God. Here it is, lock and lock. Oh, what a beauty. And we've got free spaces for cars. Everybody in. We're taking this place over. Boom. Infestations around here. Where? 
Oh, is it just these? I don't mind infestations. They're not as bad. I can deal with, like, screamers and loads of zombies. It's when we start seeing noughts wandering around. Bombing around, thinking they're hard. Right. They used to call this a uh, fixer up. Oh, lock and lock and cock, <laughs> lock, lock, <laughs> lock and stuff. I don't know. I thought it was lock and lock, lock and lock. It, that surely that's like a Scottish lock. I don't know. Keog, keog, cog, lock, lock. Maybe it's Welsh. Oh, lock. No, that's not lock. That's not Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna have to Google it to find out what it is. Lock and kiosk. I don't fucking know. Go away, man. The good thing is we've got a built-in still, which if we can get up and running and actually use, then fantastic, we've got shit to trade. <coughs> Hello, where are you? There you are. Let me just quickly, I'm gonna Google what that says. Keog. Keok. Ke Ke oh. I think I've just seen a feral. Maybe I imagined it. It wouldn't be the first time that a feral has creeped into the the bases of my imagination. And I thought I saw one when I didn't. I did think that was one then. Ke Ok. Is that it? I spelled it wrong. I put an extra C in there. It's the name of a football player. Professional footballer who plays defender for Derby County in Republic of Ireland. Oh, it's Irish. How do I say it? What, what is it? Keog usually pronounced... It's an Irish surname. Gaelic. Oh, God. Right, let's clear these out. For fuck's sake, we should have had it cleared by now. They just keep wandering in. Could we close the doors, please? No, never mind, okay. We've got quite a few of them here. We want to get lopping, please. Oh, way up. Well, who needs a break? Better not be uh, Roger. Roger doesn't need a break. Roger's a boss. How do I pronounce that? Oh no, I was looking at my Googles. Go away. Oh, I can't take Roger to the thing now. Oh god, there's a lot of them. Go away. Piss off. Right. Key. Key off. <coughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Now I've unlocked the. the fucking report for it or something. Can I get a pronunciation, please? Pronounce. There we go. Let me turn my sound up. Usually, no, that doesn't tell me how to pronounce it, does it? How to pronounce Keog? <laughs> oh, we're going to find out now, aren't we? Hey, up. Prepare yourself. If it's Locke, I'm going to fucking... I'm going to be so proud of me, then. Keo. Keo. Lock and Keo. Oh, lock and key! I get it! Oh, my God. I fucking get it. Lock and key. Oh, that's fantastic. <coughs> oh, totally weren't worth any of the effort that I went through to get there. Oh my god, my body is like in decline at the moment. I keep... It's so tickling my throat. Ah. Uh, uh, I'm like itching the back of it. Right. Um, who do we want to play as? Cricket? We could send Cricket and Dave... I think sending Cricket and Dave might be a good plan. We've got Schmidt. No, we haven't got Schmidt. Who we got? We got da yeah, Dave. Dave and these two. Nish, Nick, or whatever his name is, Liz. Right. I don't care if you've eaten a bit of food. It'll be fine. Right. Let's go. Secret Distillery. We've got plenty of beds for now. We can upgrade them and get to. Oh no, we can just even out at six beds. Uh, oh, I thought there was two outdoor large slots. Oh. But we need to get the farm built. Get a farm built. Uh, we've got the watchtower. Brilliant. Command center, which is already upgraded. Brilliant. Distillery, we can clear all these things out. I don't want to build too much at once. For obvious reasons, it's gone 
very, very bad for me in the past. We're taking the Molotov. We're taking these Willy Peak grenades. In fact, I'm going to save the Willy Peak grenades because I think I've used them before and they're very, very good for taking out play cards. Um, and if we're already taking more survivors, then I don't see the point in wasting the Willy Peaks. Why am I taking those? I don't know. The world will never fucking know. Uh, we're not going to take any guns. This is a gun-free zone. Right, have we got like... No, not really. I was going to say, have we got any gas? I don't know if we're going to be able to get there and back. There and back again, a hobbit tail. There's a fucking screamer out there. I'm going to charge at him. Fuck you. Oh, no. No, there's a pack of them out there. There's a pack. Why? This always happens. I haven't got any gas. Oh, I've just put that Molotov in there and I need it. No, it always happens. <laughs> oh, can't we? Oh, we can use. I'm pretty certain we can use the still to produce. Yeah, converts food to ethanol or, fu uh, or fu <laughs> fuel. So if we can get enough farming foods, we're going to have to set up a kitchen, I think. Oh, no. No, we won't need to set up a kitchen. We'll just need to do the boost yields thing. What am I, do what am I doing? Oh, gas. Gasoline. Where is gas? It's... Where's storage? What the fuck? Oh, elaborate storage. It looks the exact same. It's got like the, the same little logo with everything else. Uh, right, we want one gas can. That'll do. That'll get, that'll get us there and back again. A hobbit's tail again. Right, let's go. We're going to deal with this pissing... I'll leave the other Molotov. I give up. How much we got? We got enough to get us moving. Right, everyone in. Ignore the ferals. Oh my god, there's a whole horde over there. Right, just move slowly. Oh, I move slow. I want to stop time. I'll sit it till I find the problem. Oh, my voice. <laughs> Weren't happening. Weren't happening at all. Travel to the play cart in the brick bungalow. In the Brit Bungalow, bum 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 bungalow. In the Brit Bungalow. We've got quite a trek to go, but we should be fine. I'm assuming the gas that we've got is going to get us there, and then the gas that we can put in is going to get us back. That's my hope. My hope. We just need to now save up some more influence, I think. Um, maybe just setting up. I, I always get, like, water, water, water. I usually get water outposts, but I feel like, for once, it's probably just going to be better for me to just keep on having the actual, like, water water collection thing, the rain collector, that thing, yeah, you know what I'm on about. I don't know, we'll see how much space we've got. I'd like to set up hydroponics, but I don't think the, the water rain collector thing provides us with, like, water for the entire day. I'm not quite sure. It's a bit awkward. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to set up infirmaries on the inside and have like all of the sort of um, living areas and all the inside of the containment things. We went to Scarborough once, which if you don't know what Scarborough is, it's like a seaside resort sort of place. It's very like, you know, you go there with, you, with your grandparents and you spend the day there and they buy you a bucket of spade and they just stick you out in the sand. God, I am so sick of um, and that's it, they just leave you there forever. Um, but we went to one of those places once, and uh, I never came back. No, um, I'm still there now. This is where I'm playing it. Uh, I don't know where I'm getting at. Oh, they had like these, no, it was Filey, which is like the same place. It's just, it, well, it's not the same place. It's the same sort of place. You, you get taken there by your grandparents for the day, and they all fuck off to the arcades and gamble and whatever. Um, but my point is, like, they used to have these little hook container things that you could rent out for the day and just basically like sit in like beach hut things but they were like quite far away from the beach but they sort of overlooked the beach almost I don't know they were like at the back of the beach <laughs> I guess in case like the tide came in or something 
um, that thing that happens when the water on the earth moves. I don't know where I'm getting at with this story, but that's that's where Lock and Keo reminds me of. I can't believe it's Lock and Key. That's awesome. <laughs> that's made my day. Oh god. Oh, you are joking. And there's a horde here. Yeah, well, we're clearing out as many as possible before we go in. Fuck you. That came from inside. Oh, it's there. I'll get him. There we go. Okay. Okay. We're doing okay. We're not fucking dead yet, so we're doing fine. If we can just get, like, everybody to attack the play cart at once, then we can probably do a lot of damage to it quite quickly. Well, we can't probably, we will, but uh, whether or not they actually all attack is a different matter. For some reason, some of them like just standing around. <laughs> Let's clear those out. Okay, everyone's attacking, come on. That's it. That's fantastic. Move, Dave. Okay, everyone get ready for the next round. We've got three of these. That's the first one down. Oh, we should have taken these guys to check out some of the other blood play carts before we come here. That one that's like really close to us. Oh, shit. Now I know what to do in the future. Oh, shit. Just one minute. We might not make it there. There's a bloody feral. Okay, okay. I've also kind of learned that if the feral isn't attacking me, focus on clearing out some more of the zombies so that we can see what's going on. Like this fella, go away. I like it when the survivors go after a feral, because they all just completely murk it. Everyone just attacks it all at once, apart from me, who just gets, like, fucked in the face by it. Fantastic, I'm glad that Cricket's just had, like, a rib broken. Okay, that's the second one down. We've only got one more to go. He's shooting it! Go away. I really hope that they join us after. Ah! No! Shit. Cricket is not doing good. Oh! No, get that feral. Go on. Kick his teeth in. Fuck him up. Oh shit, Cricket's got blood plague. There's two hordes here. Ugh. Ow. Nope. There's a lot going on. Fuck. What happens to Dave? Can I play as Dave? I need Dave. What the fuck do I do now? That was going so well. Oh, and I got that fucking injury from the feral. Oh, this is what I mean. I'm just going in circles. Where's Dave? Dave's here. Everybody get ready. We got wall -to -wall zombies coming in. Did we fail that? No, they're still there. We must need to travel back over. Oh, the bloody car is there. I've not got enough influence either to spawn in another. Oh, piss. Piss, piss, piss. Deadheads are going crazy on our base. No, they're not. I'm here and nothing is happening at all. Oh, I should have switched to Dave and just let Cricket die while we're playing as Dave. As soon as she got that injury, it was fucked. Oh, God. Oh, if I can survive this and still get back over there, then there's a chance we can continue it. It doesn't say that there's, like, survivors still there, though. I don't know if they're, like, still rendered in or not. Go away. Just go away. Piss off. 
No, stop it. Just don't be mean. We just have a world where we're not mean to each other. Should have sent Burke. Should have sent bloody Burke. Somebody up there. Oh, it's Burke. <laughs> Oh god, there are quite a lot. We should be fine, what's wrong with Roger? Why is he freaking out? There aren't that many. Quite a few, but it's not that bad. Is he alright? What's wrong with him? I don't know. Oh. I wonder if those other survivors died. We might see Cricket Zombie. They do have the uh, the habit of like porting around the map. Hey up, this one man zombie horde is here. I've got 50 parts, hey up. Nope. Yo, fuck these Z's, right? My fucking right? Sure. What do you say, Dave? I do quite like Dave so far. He's been a decent asset. I don't know how he managed to get back from uh, that house, but we won't question it for now. We'll just be grateful he's here. But there's a uh, screamer somewhere. I'm glad we've got Burke up there. He's popping them left, right, and centre. Right, there's that sorted. Um, we've cleared out that. We've cleared out that. We need to repair this. Get that bloody done. Get that done. Get us some food sorted out. Oh, we've got no gas. There's got to be a car somewhere. <clears throat> oh, God. There's like a choir of bloody screamers over there. Oh, God, I don't know what to do. I don't know if, like... I still, I still haven't found out if play cards reset their health. That's still something that we, we've, we've not found out yet. Nobody's like told me about it. I can't tell. It's one of those things that it's just like a mystery at the moment. Right, I think we're just gonna have to take the remains of the car basically. We've got some gas in there. It's not gonna be enough to get us all the way around the map, but. It'll get us somewhere. It'll probably get us to about there and then it'll bloody die. Oh, we could swap it for that. Okay, if we can get to there, we can swap it for that next car and then take it round. And then that should get us all the way that we need to go. Come on, Dave. The one-man gang. The one-man gang? The one-man squad of Dave. I mean, there's things there that I could probably loot, but I'm not going to risk it while that's there. By they took our oh shit. Okay. Well, I'm afraid. <laughs> um, we're, we're losing a lot of people ourselves at the moment, so you, your issues come separately, unfortunately. I wonder if that's a sheriff thing. It seems like a very specific quest. Because he said surgeon, so maybe not actually. Oh, I move slow. Right through Babbage Pass. I'll sit here till I find the problem. Don't even know if they're the right lyrics. Probably gonna get corrected on. I like getting those, uh. <laughs> I don't know if it's like people taking the piss or whether it's like genuine tips and tricks, but like when people say, oh, by the way, you can eat snacks and it'll restore your stamina. It's like, yes. 35 episodes of Nightmare Zone, I sort of fucking know. I can't tell whether it's like sarcasm or not. I wonder if there's a. No, there's probably not a gas can in the back of there, to be fair. We'll just go round to this other car that we ditched behind the play cart. Quickly jump in it, take it round to the other play cart, finish that fucker off. An enclave's moved in there. The Pioneers! Okay, we might be able to recruit him. Maybe that's why it's there, actually. It might be a little recruitment mission. That makes a little bit more sense as to why just one person has moved in. Fucking plague zombies must think they own this town. Yeah, well they do at the moment. Right, car swap time. I'm just gonna quickly. Oh god, I'd probably die. I was gonna quickly see what 
this body had on it. I can't remember whose body it was. Kristen. That was it. I remember her name. I think I'm going to have to do like a compilation of everybody that's died so far. Oh, shit. Fuck off. Dave being the next on the list, evidently. Go away. Just fuck off. Right. Equip that. Take that. Take those. Oh, God. I've got no medicine. Right, this is just like a bloody suicide mission. I'm just going to have to go in there, shoot the shit out of that play cart, and hope we can kill it. Whew. Okay, it's not too far. I'm going to go out back this way onto the road. Loop round. If we can at least get back to the car, even if we don't get the play car, like, base goal is to get the car back. Because it's got all that fuel in it. And I kind of need that fuel. It really fucking sucks you didn't help us out, man. Oh, they were the filler up thing. I don't care about that. I haven't got fuel myself, mate, so you can piss off. Cricket? Cricket's dead! Isn't she? Cricket is dead. How is she talking? <laughs> what? She left us. No, she's on the walkie talkie at the moment. She's not dead yet. She's going to be dead when Dave gets there. Dave left her and now he's coming back and she's going to be dead. How fucking great. Good job, Dave. Good job. Right, here we go. Okay, we've still got a glimmer of hope. If we can get inside and just shoot the shit out of that thing. If it ain't the heat, it's the humidity. No! That's it oh! Ammo. How's it how's it still alive? How is it still alive? How is it still alive? Please tell me there's two hordes outside. How am I still alive? No. I just want them all to die. Fuck you, play cards. I give up at this game. I am really, really... Oh, yes! Yes, don't die! <laughs> don't die! <laughs> Eat! Oh! 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 Fucking hell! Take a breather, take a breather, take a breather, take a breather. Oh, a bloater? Piss off! Look, follow me over here. Full over, full over, full over. Go on. Waddle over, waddle over, you fat bastard. Oh, there we go. Don't fat shame. Where are we. What? Oh, okay, they're over at the bridge fort. That explains a little bit why I can't see them. Grab him. Oh, don't grab him. Oh, you motherfucker. I got taken down by one zombie. Okay. Come on, Dave. Come on, Dave. Oh. Swing. 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 Build an infirmary. <laughs> Quickly. Oh, pardon me. Wait, how long has it got on that? I've got seven minutes. I'm dying on my feet. Oh. Gotta get medical help. Right, we need to... Cricket's outside for some reason. Right, check this. Crossbow, yes please. Meds, yes fucking please. Yes, take those. Take those. Take that. I don't care about the backpack. We'll go to do the survivor activity thing. How much fuel we got? Plenty of fuel. Get those in the back of there, Dave, you sexual beast. That in there, that in there. That in there. Uh, those in there, those in there, those in Oh, no. There we go. I have those. Right, let's go see what Cricket had. I think she had Molotovs that we can probably... Oh, no, she used it. Never mind. She's got some on her. Why is she out here? Oh, she's not out here. Oh, God, it's glitched. Oh, dear. We're never going to see Cricket ever again. Maybe she turned into a zombie and she's like wandered off elsewhere because he like put it away, didn't he? Okay, they're out on the street. We'll go see them now. 
talk to a member of the scavengers. We'll go talk to them, and then we'll get back and deliver some uh, a blood plague cure to uh, Dave. He deserves it. To be fair, he's brought the meds back as well to actually make it, so we will have by the time we get there. There they are. Hello, I will happily recruit the both of you, even though you ran away and left cricket. Here's a little something to show that I appreciate. That. Okay, what about if you join me? Would you like that? No. Hunting ammo. I don't really. Oh, they've just despawned. Shit, get in the car. They've despawned. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, so I'm gonna go back. Um. And we're going to get Dave some plague cure. We lost cricket, but again, we're going in that bloody vicious circle. We've taken out a plague car. I think that's now four. I'm pretty certain we're now on four. Out of like, I don't know, somebody said ten, and then somebody said like twenty. Somebody said like fifteen, or around fifteen, or something. I'm just going to end up Googling it and finding out. But I'm pretty certain we're now done four. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please do leave a thumbs up. Uh, and feel free to subscribe to see some more. Uh, let me know what you'd think about me actually playing Dread Zone rather than this zone or whether you don't really care what difficulty it's on just as long as it's State of Decay related because I'm perfectly fine with just also playing Standard. Just let me know and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. I don't want to set the world.